So I have Desmos pulled up so you can have a better visual representation of what I did to my graph. So right now I have the parent cosine function graph and I have all the variables in their equation that I'm going to be replacing. So, so far I have y is equal to a of cosine of b of x minus c plus d. So, first what I want to do is I want to do the horizontal shift, and which is the c variable. So, first what I did is um, I know that the minimum point right here has to be right before the y-axis. So, if I shift it over pi... I know that the minimum point is going to be right on the y-axis, so shifting it right pi is too far. So in order for it to still be greater than 1, I just shifted it over 2. So my minimum, a minimum point right here is right before that y-axis. And then always after you do your horizontal shift, you always have to do your horizontal stretch, which is the B variable. So, since the graph that you gave us had a higher frequency than the parent cosine function, that means you have to increase b. So, that's why I'm increasing b, like making it greater than 1 rather than less than 1. And I increased it to just 2. So, now I know that a minimum point right here is negative 0.571 and negative one and I can plug this into the my formula to get this and so I want this point to be above the x-axis it needs to be positive so I could shift d up one but it, it has to be greater than one and it has to be above the x-axis so shifting it up two would do that but I'm also keeping in mind that I have to do a vertical stretch still so if I were to keep this at 2 and do a vertical stretch of 2, then that would put my minimum value back on to this, um, to the x-axis, which I don't want to do. So that's why I shifted it up 3. And then after my vertical shift, you have to do your vertical stretch, which is your a variable, which is why I increased my a variable to 2 because... The A variable is affecting the amplitude of it, and I knew that the amplitude was um, bigger than the parent cosine function, so that's why I increased A to 2, and I got this graph for part A.